Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my first ever Halloween look featuring a dear makeup tutorial. If you want to see how I did this look, please keep on watching! So to start off this tutorial, grab the widest foundation that you have in your stash. I am using my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in NC15 as my base. See how stark white this foundation is? I usually use this as my highlighter but for this tutorial, I'm going to use it as my base. Don't forget to cover your lips! And go over your neck with the same foundation shade. Now it's time to do the brows. I am using a soft brown brow gel to shape my brows. We are going to do a tweak to the regular brow shape. Slightly bring the inner corner of your brows towards the bridge of the nose. Now we're going to highlight the center of the face with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Buff that white pencil with a buffing brush. And to set all that liquid and cream products, I'm grabbing my Makeup Forever HD powder with my e.l.f. powder brush. Now I'm grabbing a warm NYX bronzing powder in deep tan to bronze the upper half of my face. This includes the cheeks, the hairline, and the sides of the nose. I'm also going to be putting a tiny bit of bronzer on my neck. Now that we're finished bronzing the face, contouring is next. I am grabbing the darkest shade from the Lorac Pro Contour Palette with a Zoeva blending brush. To remove the harshness of all that bronzing and contouring, go back with the brush that you use for bronzing and blend, blend, blend. Now this look requires a drastic nose contour, so going back with that Lorac Pro Contour Palette and its medium shade, I am going to draw my nose line. And of course, don't forget to blend the edges. Now this step is where you can customize your dear makeup to your liking. Pick whatever eyeshadow color you want and put it on the main lids. As for me, I'm using my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in Rose Gold. To bring more shimmer to the eye, I'm going to layer another Rose Gold Eyeshadow Color from its Judy Time Palette. To slightly give dimension to the eye, I'm going with that dark purpley eyeshadow from the same palette. With a white eyeshadow, highlight the brow bones. Go ahead and apply a white eyeliner to your lash line and to your lashes. To make the eyes look and appear more bigger and doe-eyed, I'm going to draw an inverted wing liner nearest to my lash line with an eye pencil. Apply a white eyeshadow color on top of that white eye pencil to avoid smudging. We're going to make that white inverted wing liner more prominent by applying a grayish brown pencil to its lower edge. Now honestly guys, this is the step that I hate the most. I can't even do a normal winged liner, what more a dramatic one. But the winged liner cuts has granted me access to their heavens and allowed me to create a decent one. Our face makeup is almost finished, 
Just add in some shimmery highlighter from my Lorac Pro Contour Palette to the center of my face. Time to do the cutesy deer nose! I'm using a black eyeliner to draw in some deer features. I forgot to film it guys, but I did set that black eyeliner with a black eyeshadow. Create a glossy ombre look to the lower lips by using two colors of glosses. Just highlighting my cheekbones to finish off the face makeup. This is the most fun part for me, adding the white speckles. What's good with this Hollywood look is that it doesn't require any costume to it, so by all means, Go bronze your shoulders and add some white speckles to it. This is an optional part guys, but you can add lashes to your upper and lower lash line to make your eyes look more enchanting. Put on your headdress, curl your hair, and you're good to go. Don't forget that selfie! So that's it guys, this is a finished look. I would also like to thank my sister for making me this headdress. Thank you so much Charmaine. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching! Bye! I have already reached 400 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, commenting, and liking my videos. And for that, I have already picked my 400 subs giveaway winner. And here she is! And for those who still haven't had the chance of winning, don't you worry guys because I'll still be picking a winner every 100 subscribers that I get and that's still I reach 1000. My next mini giveaway is on 500 subscribers. So please subscribe and comment on my videos for more chances of winning.